You seem to have changed so much, my lord. But man always changes. All right. Don't bamboozle me. I don't know how you do it. You always seem to come through unharmed when you should be dead. <laughs> is your prophecy right? Certainly. Once fate has singled you out as special, you can't get away from it. <laughs> Suppose. I don't believe a word you're saying. Makes no difference. Whatever happens, happens. Though I number myself as a close friend of yours, I must tell you frankly, most of the time I don't understand you. You leave me puzzled. Why do you deliberately look for trouble and never care for anything? You seem to have forgotten. I don't enjoy being teased by young women. Only if I'm doing the teasing. to look at a girl's ankles first. But with you, it's just your hands. Who te wa? Come. Come. Come over here. Over here. talks about your beauty. But now I find that you're skilled at Kung Fu. Yeah, what a lovely girl you are. What do you want? Once the golden bell rings, it means there'll be happiness. You already know what it is that I'm after. So you're the one called Golden Bell Tang. <laughs> That's right, I am. And what do you intend to do with your hands? One hand will hold you. The other will kill you. Sure you can do it? We'll soon find out. Thank you. 
Life is never easy. You can't even find a place to sleep tonight. <laughs> but I'm a lucky man. I've used these to buy some wine. <laughs> Have two more. <laughs> Not enough. If you don't know how to use it, then don't use it. Until you do. Huh, of course, some more. Huh. You've only got three hands. Huh? Ah! He's ahead of us. This is as far as we go. Hey, mister, please come in. My name is Ai Ching. What's yours? Mine. Does it matter? I never really use it. But you saved my life and brought me here. Can't you tell me your name? How can I repay you? In that case, just let's forget it. I can't. If anybody does me a good turn like you've just done, I have to repay them. Go ahead then, I don't mind. Just say it. What should I say? What about? You can ask anything at all from me, and I'll give it. Really? I swear on my heart. Then you can pay me 500. What you say? You want me to give you 500? If it's too much, I can agree to less. I don't have any money on me. At 12 o'clock, go to the Red House. I'll pay your money then. <laughs> Dummy. Do you understand? A girl isn't being stupid. And she tells a man he can ask for anything. Do you mean you didn't understand what she wanted? I knew. Then why did you deliberately upset her? Excuse me, who are you? I don't think this need concern you. I'm Chang. You can call me Brother Chang if you like. I was born to make trouble, so Father said. <laughs> Hold it. These are all yours. They belong to you. Take it. Or do you want my hairpin to buy more wine? I could drink a lot. These are iron hairpins. They won't buy enough wine. How much can you drink? <laughs> I can drink lots. Just as much as you are, Wager. Midnight. Why should she want to meet you at midnight? 
I reckon that girl's still got designs on you. <laughs> Here's your wine. Oh, uh, drink. Let us drink till the cup is dry. You're drunk. Mm -hmm. Don't drink anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who says I'm drunk? <laughs> Sorry, can't sleep there. Who says that I can't sleep here? This bed is big, even if it is awfully hard. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. He can sleep, but not you, my friend. Why not? Because you have to drink with me. Don't you understand? A lady never asks a man to have a drink with her. I know that. Aren't you afraid I'll take advantage? No, I'm not. Because I've come here to let you take advantage. Your wish is my command. You're a sensible girl. Why do you want me to take advantage? Because I'm carrying out orders. What's that? Whose orders? I'm worth $500. Oh, so I Ching sent you. I'm my home. I Ching is my sister. Who do you think is more beautiful? Oh, you are. Do you think I'm worth 500? Sure. <laughs> then what is stopping you from taking me? The next time you want to kick someone, don't do it anywhere near me. Then I don't give a damn who you want to kick. I don't think your friend is very honest. He just tried to have a go at my feet. I was washing your hands. He washed your feet. What's the difference? I suppose that's because you know my feet are dirty. So you let him watch my feet while well, you took the easier job. You've nice hands. <laughs> Why didn't you help me run after her? Did you catch her? I didn't. That girl can run fast. She's a smart one. Huh. If we can't catch her, no point chasing her. Whew, it smells here. Why don't you open some windows? <laughs> She gave it to you. You better keep it yourself. I don't want it. I should have let that girl kill you. Bastard like you. Doesn't deserve to live. <laughs> There's no hatred between us. So why should she want to kill me? Since you're here, why don't you step inside? <laughs> I knew it wouldn't take you long to come. Huh. If it means 500, of course I'll come. Nothing would stop me. Do you really want that 500? That's right. I only want the money. I like the feel of it around me. I don't want you. I don't want your sister. My sister? Have you seen my sister? Just met her. <laughs> and you must have made some mistake. Because I don't have a sister, nor a brother. I'm on my own. I'm the only one. Seems like you're telling the truth to me. What did this girl look like? Who you thought was my sister? She had big eyes. Cute nose. And she was all dressed up in a red suit. She said her name was Ai Hung. Do you know who she is? 
If you run into her again, catch her and don't let her go. Maybe I'll know her if I see her. Huh. Now, what about my 500? <sighs> I don't have 500. All I have is a pair of earrings, at least. They should be worth 500. Earrings? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't have any use for earrings. I don't wear them. But this is what I owe you. You have to accept it. Take them back and look at them. Then perhaps you'll understand why I've given them to you. Maybe I've understood already. If a pair of shoes can conceal a poison dagger, why not a pair of earrings? Can they be used to kill, too? What do you mean? I don't get it. You... <gasps> Aching! Aching! Of course, it's me. Her Ching does not belong here anymore. She has left us permanently. What about the lamp? Well, this lamp, in fact, belongs to me. It should be hanging here. I was just bringing it back. This place belongs to you? That's right. It's known as Broken Sword Cottage. It belongs to me. Then are you a famous swordsman, King Chen Tin? That's so? Yes, I am. Who's the man who wants to see me dead? Why does he want to kill me? And who's behind him? The master? We're all warriors. You know full well. We kill people ourselves. It's only natural other men want to kill you. What's there to know? Yes. You're right. You make good sense. Goodbye.
usually people sit in a sedan, but not you. You carry the sedan. Doesn't seem to make much sense. Hmm, doesn't it? bell rings, what will you fear? Happiness. At least that's what Tang said to me. Tell me, why should you be so interested? <laughs> How did you know it was me? Because you've been following me. I came here knowing you'd come. Clever. It's about time you knew. And I must say, I don't mind telling you. How come so many people seem to want to kill you? <laughs> because... They like me so much. Just who are you? My name is Chang Sisi. Oh, Sister Chang. <laughs> You're a very strange man. I asked you to call me brother, and yet you refused. But now it seems you call me sister. <laughs> so you're an only child, are you? Alone in the world, without any brothers or sisters? Oh. Really? Do I look like a child? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't you speak? Well, if I keep my mouth shut, you better watch out. What's that for? I'm not much for talking, more for action. You dare? Oh, wouldn't I? Oh, you're not as dumb as I thought. Instead, I find you're a sex maniac. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep staring at me? If you keep following me, what do you expect? If you reckon that I've an idea who's the man behind it, and by watching me you'll find him, then you're wrong. <laughs> we always get things wrong in this life, so to that extent. Makes no difference. Let's get on into town. Hmm. All right, you goddamn son of a bitch. Where have you been? Are you deaf? You stupid old bastard. Where the hell have you been? Ah, oh, you've been playing around with all those loose girls over there. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, you hey, dirty old hey, thing on that, I'll kill What's the you. matter with you? She's his wife. You shut your face. <laughs> hey, is this girl really your wife? Come on, tell me. Is this lady really your wife? Huh? Come on, speak up. <laughs> hmm. Surely you know what your wife's name is, don't you? She's called Chang Cece. 
Ah, I see. So she's really your sister. She is your wife. Uh, you want to uh, die, you silly old clot? Uh, oh, hey, thank you. Uh, hey, hey, no. Hey, hey, Get my hands on hey, you now. All right, Out that's of my enough. Way. That's enough fighting. Move uh, over. Oh, oh, like I said, that's uh, enough fighting. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, hey, oh, let me help you out. Oh, you're right. driving me up the wall now. Uh, Never thought you'd get as crazy as this, though. Huh? You should be grateful I'm still around. Uh huh? Grateful you beat me? <laughs> uh, people told me you're a real smart customer. So how come you've fallen into my trap so easy? <laughs> because you're so attractive. Aw. Uh -huh. You're a very handsome woman. How could I resist you? Well, for a woman like you. <laughs> you know how to talk to a woman. If only they told me that, too. But I still got you. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> but too bad, because these sweet talking won't get in them anywhere. <laughs> Come on, we'd best make our delivery. Right. <laughs> delivery? What delivery? Eh? That's you. <laughs> we were told to deliver you <laughs> to a woman who says she likes you. Can't see why, though. I tell you, if that girl doesn't show up, I think I'll just keep him for myself. Yeah, it's all right by me. Come on, let's go. Good. Uh. Yeah. Hey. Oh. You must keep the promise you made and deliver him. Hey! Aren't we known for that? For always delivering! Oh, that's you. <laughs> that's right. It's only natural you should know me. Because you visit me in my dreams every night. Is that so? But you're dreaming that I'm dead, aren't you? That you kill me. We've delivered. So you pay up. Cash up front. That's how we do business. I already paid a hundred thousand. Here's thirty thousand. <laughs> oh, oh. You'll find these banknotes are as good as cash. I'm surprised. For one so humble and worth so much. That's because I'd have spent more going after you. I assure you I got you for a bargain. I'd heard you were a devil, but after meeting you, I'm not so sure. You seem nice enough. <laughs> Too bad I've got to leave you so soon. This is the last time that we'll meet. I wish you luck in the future. <laughs> 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 She's only a hot-headed young girl, so you should spare her. But I got you. I'm sorry. You only thought you had got me. I just pretended to be numbed. I deliberately set you up. So why did you save me? Because I want to. You know, someone's trying to kill you. Do you think you can force me to tell you that person is? No, I don't. You don't? But why not? Because I've seen what happened to other people I talked to. They all died horribly. I wouldn't want the same fate. 
That happened to you. And you'll die, too, if you tell me anything. You're a shrewd man, not what you appear to be. And now? Now at least I understand you. Huh. And what kind of man am I? You're a strange man. But a good man. Huh. Is that so? If I'm a good man, it seems I've lost my way. And so... And so what? I'm very hungry. <laughs> Excuse me, could you help us? We've lost our way. Also, my sister's badly injured. Do you think you could put us up for the night? Sister? She really your sister? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, come in. an honest man. I welcome you to my house. Thank you. I'm not afraid of you, but aren't you afraid of me? Why should I be? In the mountains, there are many ghosts. It's not safe for a human up there. Aren't you scared? In the morning, you will find out that this place is an old cemetery. <laughs> if I could have a drink, I'd feel a bit better. Grandpa, the lady's gone to sleep already. Why is she sleeping? <laughs> Doesn't matter where she is, you're not to visit her. Ah Chung, mm -hmm. take him to the outhouse. If he dares to leave at all, don't hesitate to strike. Mm. <laughs>
did you seriously believe that I would be so easy to deal with? You tried to drug me. It was a neat trick. But I was ready for it. I'm an intelligent man, but all my life, I've never met a man quite like you before. Well, now you have met a man smarter than you. What are you gonna do? to ask you. What are you going to do? Well, go back and take a look. If you want to go back to see her, I warn you not to. Well, why not? Because you will never see her. You will never see her again. You mean you've killed her? Was she working for you? There's no quarrel between us. Why should you want me dead? You want to kill me? Do I? I don't think I do yet. Unless you force me to. You're a good man. So listen, you better leave at once. As far as you can. Don't ask me anything about who wants to kill you. I don't usually retreat. I'll see you. See me. As you're leaving, you won't see me again. You should say goodbye. Miss I home. Have a drink. <laughs> you seem to enjoy the company of the weaker sex. <laughs> that depends on what the lady's like. What kind of lady am I? I'm not I Ching's sister. I know. <laughs> I am very dangerous. I cheated. Tried to kill you. You have no reason to be kind to me. 
Let bygones be bygones. Besides, I found out it wasn't your idea to kill me. Suppose you're wrong. Suppose it was. <laughs> well, even if it was your idea, I can't blame you. You're still so young and innocent. It doesn't matter. I'd forgive you anyway. <laughs> Because you didn't kill me, did you? That's why they did this to you. Who did it? Who's behind this? Why can't you tell me? Why are you so afraid of what they'll do? Where's Chang CC? She's at the cottage. I've got to find her. I assume you want me to pass information to you. If you're willing to talk, then I'll listen. I see. You still want to find them? I don't. Why not? Because, and I realize, I don't need to find them. They're bound to come looking for me. Have I ever asked a favor of you? Not yet. Now I will. I have a favor to ask. Go ahead. Don't try to find out who wants you dead. Leave here quickly. Go far away. And never come back here. Where'll I go? Anywhere. Anywhere away from prying eyes. Where just you and I can be together on our own. Nobody must find me as well. All right? Hmm. But is there anywhere completely safe? No such place exists. I know that. One day, eventually, they'll catch up with us. But as long as we're together, it may last a year, even a month. Perhaps just a day. It will have been worth it. Oh, I'll be happy. Do you hear them? Those birds are singing to each other. And the female bird is asking her partner to fly away with her, far, far away. But the male bird is not so sure and tells her. Why, sir? Because he's a fool. You see, he thinks there are other things in life that are much more important than love. <laughs> you see, in the end they fly away. Perhaps the male bird wasn't such a fool. You think I'm a fool? That's as may be, but I think you're smarter than that bird. Huh. If they've flown away, what's keeping us here? If you give the word, I'm willing to go anywhere with you.
Where do you want we should go? That's up to you. Aren't you tired? No. Good. Let's just keep on walking, no matter where it leads. Well, let fate decide. If that's what you want, no matter where we end up, just as long as I'm with you, it's all right with me. I think there's a town not far away from here. I'm feeling hungry. Why don't we go and find a restaurant? Hey, take it easy, mister. There we are, sir. Here's the wine coming up, sir. And the food, too. <laughs> hey, coming up, sir. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Your health. Cheers. <laughs> I'm just going off to powder my nose now. <laughs> this way, sir. <laughs> You know why I'm waiting? It doesn't matter now. She won't be coming back here. How do you know that? Are you sure? If I don't know, who else does? It's not your concern, what I do. So, you insist on waiting? I have to wait. All right. Fine by me. You damaged the table. Get back. What are you doing standing there? I'm showing good manners. They won't sit, so I have to stand. But these people aren't friends of mine. I don't know them. Oh. Are you sure they're not your friends? No, they're not. Have you met me before? No, I've not. Then will you please take another table and allow us to finish our meal in peace? Uh. Bring us some more wine. Yes, coming. Oh, I'm scared. Why are you scared? Scared of what? Oh, I'm scared you left me. I won't leave you. Don't you know how I feel about you? Cece? Cece? Cece, where are you? The birds are flying back home. And I have to go home too. I must ask King Chanting the secret. 
you'll find me at White Cloud City. You seem to have changed, my friend. What's happened? You've changed a great deal. I never believed you could. How is it possible? A man could change so much. What do you mean? You seem so depressed, sad about something. Looking at you makes me feel angry. Chanksy C is a monster. She isn't. Isn't she? If it weren't for her, would you be moping around? That's because you don't know what really went on. Nobody knows what went on here. You can't blame her. So you've made up your mind to find her. And in order to find her, you will sacrifice all that you own. You're willing to give up everything for her. But I don't know about your friends. Of course, you wouldn't do that. You would never give them up. But you seem to have lost yourself because of this girl. You seem to like talking, friend. But I gotta go. Does she really mean that much to you? Whatever happens, I only know I gotta find her. But why? Because I gotta find out the whole truth about her. So I must find out who's the man behind all this. If you're in my place, I believe you'd do exactly the same thing. So you'll visit White Cloud City just on your own? That's right. And you won't reconsider? Hmm. On your own head be it, friend. Man's greatest weakness is women. So you've come back. I didn't intend to return. If that is the case, then why are you here? I have a question to ask. What is it? The man who hired all those assassins to kill me. It was you, wasn't it? <laughs> what makes you sure it was me? You four used to be famous fighters. You were all of you skilled in the arts of Kung Fu. Your chief was Dragon Claw. Second was Strong Arm. The third, Super Fist. Golden Bell Tang was the son of Strong Arm. And you're number four. You looked after Golden Bell as a kid. You're the only one who could have ordered them to do what they did. You're also the only one who could afford it. You had to pay a handsome price. I hear them say you're one of nature's gentlemen. <laughs> but they're wrong. You're a devious, scheming devil who attacks from behind. Shut up! <laughs> Twenty years ago, nobody would have dared insult me like that and stayed alive. What well, I'm insulting you now! <laughs> <laughs>
tin. I compliment you on your gong fu. I haven't answered your question for you. So why are you leaving? <laughs> because that wasn't a real reason I wanted to see you. Hmm. Makes no difference now. Whether you answer me or not, you don't have to tell me. And since you don't want to talk, I'm not going to force you to tell me. Your reputation's taken years to build. I don't think I can destroy it for you. And since she left me, it's my affair if I want to find her. So now I understand the real reason for your visit. You must have oh. thought you might find Cece here. Maybe even thought that I might have killed her, and she's dead. So you came here because you wanted to find her. Come with me. I thought this place was very famous. Now come and hope it is around. They've all gone. Is there a reason for that? Because I told them to. Why is that? Cece, why'd you have a painting of her hanging up? She isn't Cece. She's Cheng Yan Yan. They look alike. Difficult to tell them apart. Because Cheng Yan Yan is Cece's mother. Then, what is your relationship to Cece? I'm the father of Cece. Ever since she was born. I never laid eyes on the girl till the last month. She'd been living at White Cloud City for 18 years. White Cloud City? It's the most powerful secret society that there is in the world. Once you've entered White Cloud City, there's no return. No one's come back alive. You been there? I only wish that I had never gone there. If you went, how'd you get out? Because she saved me. By saving me. She sacrificed herself to terrible torture. If I had known that she was pregnant with Cece, it might have been different. Perhaps I'd never have left her. I see. But did Cece get away? Cece left White Cloud City to find her father. But they sent 30 men after her to make sure she came back. She didn't stand a chance. But why should they want so much to kill me? Because they feared for Cece. They feared she'd be like her mother. She'd lose her heart to a stranger. And Cece did do that to you. She didn't want to go back there. That's why they want to kill you so badly. Does that mean Cece's already returned to White Cloud City? Hmm. What for? Why do they have to force her to return to them? You've got to tell me how to get to White Cloud City. I must go and save her. I had intended going back there to see her mother again. But I don't think I could find the old pathway. We can look for her together. I don't want to go there anymore. Why not? Because I fear she is dead. Eighteen years is an awfully long time to be alone. I'm abandoned. I sit here on one chair by one table with one cup of wine and a small jar of vintage wine. I can't offer you any, I'm afraid. Don't ask me any more. I've already told you too much. You must leave me now and let me finish my drink quietly by myself.
Yan Yan, when I have drunk this, we'll be together once again. Cece's mother. Since you're alive, why'd you let him go on thinking you were dead? You ask too many questions. I must find out what's going on. Look at me. See how I am. I couldn't let him see me like this. I only hope when he thought of me, I was young and pretty. I never thought that even after 18 years had passed, that he would still love me like before. Is this a painting of you? Do you think? Huh. I'd lie. After all that I've gone through, the past 18 years of hell, I've no reason to lie. And they did this to you because you let him leave White Cloud City. Aren't you interested in getting your revenge? I just told you. You asked too many questions. Unless that is, you want me to kill you. If you could only tell me where to find it. Maybe I could save Cece. If you do, tell me. I'll go. Otherwise, I prefer that you do kill me. Think I wouldn't dare? You would. But he's not the only man who has fallen in love. Aren't you afraid to die? If it means that I might save Cece, I would dare do anything. Go anywhere, whatever the cost. If you really love her that much, Come with me. ask you one more question. If you can't return this time, will you regret it? No, I won't. Good. Then you can jump now. Why do you want me to jump? If you jump now, you'll soon be able to see Cece. It may seem high, but it isn't. Don't be afraid. You'll be all right. It's you. You here, too. I don't know you. But I know you. You're Paul Archer. You've made a mistake. Any idea where you are? Yes, I do. Then why have you come here? 
I came here to ask for the 500 you owe. Who would say what? Soon you'll be dead. Yet you still want to collect your money? I don't know why he's come, but don't kill him. You can tie him up first. We'll let the master see him. Take him now. Hands up. I'll go by myself. I don't know why he's here. Ahong, I think I have a pretty good idea. And I'm pretty sure Hutewa knows too. seen CC. I cannot die. Why is it so important to you? She's very happy here. If you meet her, you will only upset her and make her life miserable. Besides, she doesn't want to see you. You're lying. She came back here alone. If she wanted to stay, why did she return? Because she was afraid if she didn't, your men would kill me. Now that she's back, there is no longer any attempts. Ah, maybe you are intelligent after all. But you're a fool. You really think so? <laughs> Let's go. Ai Hong, you're a senior official. You should know better than anybody that no stranger is allowed in here. You've broken our law. This is an unforgivable crime. Take her away. We live peacefully here. We don't need you. How dare you barge your way in here? I'm looking for someone. But if that someone does not want to see you, what then? I only asked to see her and hear it from her own lips that she wants me to go. If she doesn't want to leave with me, no hard feelings. Really? Yes. All right, so you've got your wish. And now? You something else to say? Did you return here voluntarily? Don't you want to see me again? Have you forgotten so soon how you said you'd give up everything for me? Was that a pack of lies? The master of White Cloud City is rich and powerful. Why should she go with you? I just want to hear her say it herself. I spoke already. All right. All right. I was wrong. I'm gone. Hold it. That's a fast. Don't think you're going to leave here alive. Don't touch him. Take him.
Let him go. You can't break the law. I say he's free to go unharmed. Remember, I'm still master of White Cloud City. What is going on here? Why on earth should Master say that to him? Let him go. Who they were? I'll come with you. Even if we both die tomorrow, I want to be with you. Cece. I never realized that White Cloud City could be so easy to enter and certainly not to leave. Also, how was I to know who you were? I never thought you were the master here. And even though up until now I've remained unharmed, I can't help feeling uneasy. There's some strange force at work. I'm not sure what's happening. I'm getting confused. So tell me, what the hell is this all about? You'll find out soon enough. We're all of us mere mortals. We all die in the end. Aren't I right? And isn't there usually a calm before the storm? There's only one way out. Every one of us knows exactly what the way is. But no one can come and go from here as they wish. Because whatever the time is, ten of our elders always stand guard along the path. No matter how good you think you are, you are no match for a dozen of them. Do you still insist on leaving? Yes, we do insist. You're quite sure your mind is made up? We are. Cece, you sure you won't change your mind? We are. You saw what happened to Ai Ching and Ai Hung. The same fate awaits you. But you're the master. You can't want us to do that to you. I'm imploring you. Let us pass unharmed. All right. So be it. You may both pass. <laughs> Thank you. Cece, come on. <laughs> However, there's one condition. And what's that? You have to kill us. And if you don't manage to do that, then we will most certainly kill you. And after you're dead, you can be buried outside. So you lie. I should have known you'd break your word. Hot! Yeah! 
Come to. Waiting for 18 years now. Just hoping and praying that one man with enough courage would come and take you away. That is why I set up so many traps for him to force Hutewa to save.
天大侠。你当什么？就当这个。嗯。啊？这这这是什么？当一千两。什么？这这当一千两？你，你，哎，怎么，不值吗？哦，就凭这个要当一千两？<笑>久仰铁狮子当铺的掌柜金大海，一向是以侠会友，怎么对道上的朋友就这样的怠慢？嗯、啊，金某佩服阁下的功力，请里边坐，请。壮士，掌柜的，哎，这是兄弟一点小意思，不成敬意。哎在江湖上也是响叮当的人物，你可不要欺人太甚、啊。哎，不要说了。请问壮士尊姓大名？你倒不认识我，我可认识你啊！哼，这个你总该认识吧？黑伞。哦，你就是欧云鹏。是的，十几年前。上一代黑白两散比武，那时候你欺负我年幼，阻止我杀死仇人燕九公，你还记得我当时对你说过的誓言吗？你是报仇来的，嗯，我现在来就是要你的命。啊嗯
，你在那儿穷叫什么？买街呢？你聋的，叫你不叫，你还要叫？你是干什么的？我是卖剑的。哦，家传宝剑，远千金隔岸。好剑，非但是好剑，而且还是宝剑。有三力，一能吹毛断发。哦，嗯。啊、哎，你说啥、啊？二呢？二能削铁如泥。啊，好，好，好，好，呃，三呢？这三嘛。杀人不见血，哦，这可就难了。嗯，这没什么难的嘛。怎么样？没有血吧？杀了，杀了。去找你的女婿白洒来替你报仇啊两位过门的媳妇吧，是又怎么样
什么事？姓燕的，今天可算把你等到了。哼！欧云鹏，想你也是名门之后，堂堂好汉，你的所作所为，对得起你的祖宗吗？哼！亏你还记得起我们家祖宗。姓燕的，告诉你，今天在这等你，就是为了我们家祖宗。今天不是来找你的，怎么？难道你这堂堂好汉也害怕吗？燕青，黑白伞两家的仇恨，在你这一代要了解，冤家宜解不宜结，你要切记。想当年，黑白两伞结仇，冤冤相报永无了解。希望你从今改邪归正。我可以一概不救，<笑>你的气度倒不小啊！那，你想怎么样？我想，我想要你的命。Oh, my God. 
干嘛走那么快嘛？嗯，前面有金块等着你去捡呢。先把它抬回去再说。
子。啊，请问有一个胖大妈跟一个小姑娘住在哪儿啊？啊，在那边。哦，谢谢。你是谁？我姓吕，你们不用怕，我是来送伞的。送伞？嗯，这把伞是他的。啊、哦，这把伞好怪呀、啊，怎么会是白色的呢？哼，就凭这把伞，人家都知道他就是江湖上有名的大侠燕青。说你认识他？哎嘿，我认识他。嗯，可惜他不认识我。哎呀，吕姑娘，你来的正好啊！我们母女俩正急得没有办法呢。你看看，到现在还昏沉沉的，没有醒过来呢。他的伤势不轻啊，那怎么办呢？我看我还是请个大夫来吧。不用了，他受的是内伤。我这儿有药，给他吃下去，休养两天就会好的。哦。嗯。这个不是普通的药，我们去调给他喝。嗯。想什么？哦，我在想，那个狠毒的欧云鹏，我无伤他之意，他倒有害我之心。俗语说，君子报仇，十年不晚。留得青山在，不怕没柴烧。姐姐，你们快回去！妈说啊，天南寨的人快要来了。哦，天南寨。<咳><咳>不在，哼哼，嗯，哎，我告诉你们，不在。哦，不在。嗯，你们可以走了吧？<笑>我们不走，等你女儿回来。你们做什么？做什么？<笑>哎，我们寨里啊。来了位新寨主，四位大王请客，叫凤花去唱个曲儿，大伙儿乐呵乐呵。不去，金大妈，你可别敬酒不吃，吃罚酒啊！老娘是什么酒都不吃，你别嘴硬。要是把我们寨主惹毛了，嘿嘿，管教你吃不了兜着走。哟，你们寨主就这么凶啊？哼，哎，就这么凶。哼哼，现在江湖上，谁不知道黑伞
欧云鹏，他有把黑伞，不要说看见，听见就可把人吓死。他那把黑伞呢，会飞，又会射武器出去杀人，简直是厉害的不得了。哎，嘿嘿，黑伞有什么稀奇？我们家里就有好多把。哼，金大妈，今儿个一定要凤花去唱个曲儿，她要是不去的话。<笑>明天你就甭想活命。哎呦，两位大哥，啊、怎么了？<笑>跟谁生气呀、啊？啊？<笑><笑>娘，你是谁？我，我姓金，叫菊花，凤花是我的妹妹。哦，哎，两位大哥，您还要问什么？啊，是不是要我去唱个曲儿啊？你？你也会唱曲啊？我<笑>当然会了。娘，我、哦，哎，哎，妹妹不在家，哎，我去唱好吗？好啊，好啊，好啊，好啊，好啊好啊当然好了、啊啊。娘，人家新债主看得起我们，哎哎哎我们。怎么好不去呢？对呀、啊，哎，金，嗯，金菊，哎，金菊花，哎，还是你懂事，哎，走啊，是啊，哎，哎，金菊花不但懂事，呃，小脸蛋儿比他妹妹还要漂亮啊，哎哎哎，我们可以走了吧？啊，走啊，走，嗯，那还得让我洗把脸呢，嗯，啊、嗯、啊，启禀债主，金家母女已经带来了，是叫他进来、啊，是，进来。不是金凤花，啊，回大王的话，凤花不在家，嗯，我叫她姐姐，菊花来伺候各位，嗯，想要听什么曲子，请大王吩咐好了。菊花，你过来呀、啊，哎哎，过来呀、啊，哎哎，过来呀、啊，过来，来来来，过去吧，过去，去过,过来、啊。小妞比她妹妹漂亮多了啊！菊花，不要怕嘛，来来来，是喜欢你呀、啊！哎，来来来，喜欢你，欢你。哎，董头目，哎，不要太兴奋了啊！哎，是，你要喜欢她，等她唱完了，何必这么猴急呢？那你就唱吧，啊？唱什么曲儿呢？哎，随便你唱，随便随便唱。
眼睛指着秃子骂和尚。来人呐，把他给我拉去！大王，呃，菊花年幼无知，大王，请您多原谅。胡说，两个一道拉下去。算了吧，放他们走吧。老四，放了就算了。啊，谢谢大王，谢谢大王，谢谢大王，谢谢。这个小妖明天骂我们，怎么可以放过他呢？哎，这个丫头双目有神，中气充沛，不是平凡之辈。我的意思，放她回去，也好摸摸她的底细呀、啊。哎，我从来没听说过凤花有个姐姐。这丫头的来历的确可疑。哎，八成是来探债的吧？<笑>要不要我去查查看呢？<笑>不过，总头目，你可得小心点儿，这丫头可不是好吃的。是，好，都好吃。死了！如果让他们认出来你是假的话，那我们连命都没有了。哦，有人来了吧？有人来了，哪有人呢？在哪儿？我们快走！啊、哦，小妖站住！有人，我们走吧，你让开。什么？嗯，我们要问问你的来历。你是什么人？啊，大王，他是我，他是我大妞，他是我大妞，大王。哎，我们怎么没听说过？就别回去了，跟我们回山寨，我们可以给你大妞接风啊！接风。来，跟我走。走。哎哎哎哎哎哎起来吧，大王饶命啊！大王饶命、啊！你看看我是谁？哎呀，李姑娘，是你啊！咦，李姑娘，你闯祸了！要是天南寨那边强盗知道的话，我们全家都没命了。你先拿着，赶快跟燕公子离开这儿。我们到哪儿去呢？城里头有一家安平客栈，你们暂时先去躲一躲。那你呢？你别管我，我还有别的事要办。办完事我会去找你们的，快走。吕姑娘，你自己要小心点。我知道，快走。
你上哪儿去了？怎么这时候才来？哎，哎，我刚才从黄土村来的时候，经过天南山，听见附近的人跟我说，天南寨新来的那位欧寨主，可真不得了。哦，怎么个不得了啊？哎，你们不知道啊，自从这位欧寨主当家以后呢，这天南寨的势力是越来越大了。哦，越来越大了。老陈呐，是怎么样个大法？最近呐、啊，又来了三位武林高手投奔欧寨主，这不是如虎添翼吗？哦，那三位高手是谁？第一个叫苍霸客李立，听见过没有？枪谢三，啊，他也来了，哎，厉不厉害？嗯。还有一个叫黑煞手莫小江，哼，这三个人呐，个个都是江湖上响当当的好汉，还不是群强盗吗？他妈的，你敢骂？哎，好了好了，别吵了。哎，老陈，你还听到点什么？说给我们听听，我还听说欧寨主啊要打听白散燕青的下落，不管什么人，只要是知道燕青生死的下落，就让他闻银一百两。哦，闻银一百两？哎，老陈是真的吗？当然是真的了。哎，各位，这是个发财的好机会啊！你们哪一位知道啊？啊，哎哎，那个，呃。酒钱在这儿，谢了。来来来来哎，你知道他是谁吗？他就是雪里红吕林姑啊！哎，我告诉你，欧寨主叫我出来，就是让我故意放风声给他们听的。白散燕青。虽然受伤落崖，可是尸体未见，生死不明。这件事，我心里总有点不安呢、啊。<笑>欧大侠真是太过滤了。听说燕青每逢清明时节，一定上坟祭祖。<笑>明天就是清明了，我们派几个弟兄埋伏在坟上，暗中把他宰了，这不是易如反掌吗？嗯，要是他还没有死的话，明儿个就叫他死在坟上，跟他父亲做个伴儿，你心里何必不安呢？哎，好主意。嗯，好，就这么办。欧大侠，听说官府里对天南寨最近要有行动了，你知道吗？是啊，我们就是为了这件事。请欧大哥上山。最近朝廷里要消灭我们天南寨，还派了一位徐大人到这儿来。我看这件事不简单呢。哎，那有什么大不了呢？等他到任以后，我们夜入衙门，暗中行刺，岂不是斩草又除根吗？对对,对，好主意，好主意，好主意。嗯。这只金钗，各位可认识是谁的？嗯，上面有个血字。哎，这不是雪里红吕林姑的金钗吗？吕林姑。这个丫头可不大好惹，她就是铁狮子当铺金大海的外甥女儿。哦，是她？是。啊、哦，所以总头目就这样送了命了。什么人？啊、哦，原来是个小丫头。哎，让我来对付她。嗯。
人一见。这是我们寨主武艺好啊！哎，当然了。大哥，我们追。算了，跑得了和尚，跑不了庙，甭追了。要不把这个丫头宰了，走漏风声，以后我们下手可就不方便了。现在不等他上任，我就跟他来个先下手为强。丁贤弟，是，替我把那个丫头挂上。大哥，那么我去了。嗯，小心点。好，走。嗯。哼，这丫头本事倒平常，两条腿可跑得快啊。却没事就好了。
，我们只好再走了。嗯。为什么打伤我的弟兄？<笑>奇怪，我是来上坟的。你们躲在这儿干什么？哼，上坟的，别装了，上。啊啊啊啊啊啊啊
赵云鹏真是无法无天，卑鄙下流，竟敢明目张胆的去行刺徐大人。前天晚上，要不是我跑得快，也会给黑伞伤了。燕公子，我真不明白，只有白伞能制服他，为什么你老不肯出手呢？不是我不肯出手，只因家父临终的时候留下了遗训：乱嫁宜解不宜接。欧云鹏不但不深明大义，反而要害朝廷命官。这样我就……哎，徐大人马上就要到了。黑伞随时都会向他动手，可是你又偏偏在这个时候受了伤。你放心，这点伤算不了什么。明天我就去迎接徐大人，让他知道也好有个准备。送信的事让我去，你还是好好的在这儿养伤吧，将来用得着你的地方还多着呢。林姑娘，你处处为我着想，我真是从心里感激你。燕公子言重了，你我都是为民除害，理所应该的什么人挡住道路？哼！天南寨欧云鹏在此候驾。啊？跟几个弟兄来带你上山，替你接风洗尘的。欧云鹏，你在这一带成群结党，胡作非为，你不怕王法吗？王法？哈哈哈哈我就是王法。上！哎哎哎！哎哎哎哎哎哎哎哎
徐大人，今天难得你大驾光临我们天南寨，如果有什么招待不周的地方嘛，还得让你多多的包涵呐、啊，啊？<笑>你们这人大胆的强盗，竟敢私扣朝廷的命官，难道你们就不怕王法？王法？哈，哈哈哈哈哈哎，请你把眼睛睁开来，看看清楚，这儿可不是你的衙门，少拿“王法”两个字来吓唬人。你要放明白的，现在你的狗命是在我们天南寨的手里。欧云鹏，就算你把我给杀了，可是我们朝廷里有无数的官兵和将官，早晚会把你们这些强盗一网打尽，为民除害。大哥，嘿嘿，真没想到，读书本的人到了现在嘴还会这么硬啊！哼，有骨气，是个人才，只不过做个小小的官，实在是大材小用了啊！哎，哎，我看，咱们把他给升一升吧。对，是。金家母女两个已经被我们抓到了，好，把他们带进来，带进来，快点。你们活得不耐烦了，竟敢勾结吕林姑，窝藏白伞燕青，还说无缘无故。我告诉你，你们进了我的天南寨，就休想活着出去。妈，来进来，来，给我把他们两个人绑起来。徐大人，你觉得怎么样？闷得不得了，我我该生了。你护着他们。你保护大人先走。
他们已经追过来了，我们赶快保护大人，先回去吧。哦、快点走吧。哦、大哥，你看见他们没有？你们不用去追了，站住在外头等着他们的。啊，我们去看看。早就算到底会来的了，既然来了，就别想再回去。
灵姑，灵姑，灵姑，灵姑，灵姑。